Hey guys, here's the retaining wall. You can kind of see the first step. All this is level. And I went ahead and packed it back up with mud. Because I'm going to need to take those 2x4s out. There's really not enough room to have that in there, in my opinion. Well. I guess there would have been. I'm hoping that this mud will harden. And um, as I get my cement ready, I'll pour it onto the right side of the, this wall. And then um, take out these forms as I get closer to the wall here. It should work out well. You can buy these stakes at Arbor Freight, I'm sorry, at um, Home Depot. What I like to do is um, cut my own stakes. You see kind of the angle that I cut, it works well enough. And so I go to, down to Harbor, um, Home Depot and I get these spare pieces of wood. This is a two by four. It's like a two by three. But, see I have a bunch of them here. These are the ones I'm gonna use for my forms, the two by fours. And then I'll use these two by threes to, what I'll do is I'll just cut it right down the middle. And I'll cut it about um, 10 inches or so and put a slice on it. So I have my saw set up right now. Happens to be at about 40 degrees. It's about 40 degrees there. Let me see the angle of the blade. And that gives me a decent little spike. Nothing, nothing is screwed in. They're just kind of tapped there. The idea is to get this little form right here going. So when I pull it up, that'll be my base for leveling out my cement. I still need to put my rebar in. But this thing here is about as wide as I need to get it. So I'm just kind of measuring. So you can see that this is the outer form and this piece of wood's coming out. So as I make my my table here with this mud, this mud will actually be the outer wall. So you see how wide my base is for two stones. I'm using this bucket here just to kind of pour a little bit of water on there, soften it up, and then mold it. How are you? 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 How are and this is enough of a base to line them up. And so there will be a gap between them. A gap wide enough so that I can lay one of these on top of it. So the width of this is going to dictate the gap between the two. Because so I'll grab one of these and bring it up and put it on top as a cap. But my base is going to be this wide. So if it ever it moves a little bit, it can shift an inch or two or three, and it's not going to go anywhere. And it's not a super tall fence anyways, or retaining wall. It's going to be two feet, more or less, and probably a little more than two feet, about two and a half feet. And that's it.
Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Just want to let you know. You know, you don't have to do all this fancy stuff to get it. This thing here, I just happened to get it for free somewhere. I probably had it 10 years or so. It's for um, going back and leveling out your cement, so I would definitely use it again. But I've never used it. You can see it's brand new. I just used it today. Usually what I'll do is I'll get a piece of wood, cut it, and then put two little blocks here, screw them in, and then put another block on top. And now I have this um, flat wooden uh, trowel. And it works fantastic. But since I have this, I'll use that. At least for my base. I set up the string here just to get an idea how straight I need it to be. And then, of course, all these grass branches or whatnot need to get cut back. So I'm trying to run this fit, this line. And as you get back there, the problem is that um, there's two fence posts. There's two fence posts way back there. So I only have, you know, a certain width to be able to make my fence. But that's the way it's going to work. If not, I'll have to cut, you know, that piece of stone to accommodate the width of that um, fence post. There's a fence post on uh, this gate for the panel on the left. And then there's a, another fence post here holding up that fence for the neighbor.